Steve, we're going to move on to All Ireland, and your four provincial winners you had there were uh, Cork, Derry, Dublin, and Mayo. Yeah. And the odds on that are about seven to one. I suppose if it, it's it's squeaky bum time, I suppose Cork, Kerry, anything can happen there. And I suppose in Ulster, who knows if it happened to be a Tyrone Derry final, it could go either way too. So. Yeah. It's uh, difficult enough to break the four provincial champions. It is. Well, Ulster, as we know, is certainly a minefield and has been over the last 15, 20 years. It's certainly the toughest province to come out of. You have to be on red alert from, from the preliminary round right through. And if you take your eye off the ball at all, and this, this includes the favourites in any match, you know, you're going to be caught out. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a very difficult province to predict the winner and the outcome of, of that. Um, between Cork and Kerry, you know, it's, it's really always a toss of coin. Um, on current form and with the youth coming through in Cork, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in giving the youth an opportunity. And, and you know, at the pace at which the game is played at nowadays, you know, certainly it's it's played at a very high tempo and high speed. And Cork certainly have that in abundance. And I just fancy them. Um, we we bit more than carry at the minute. When you look at the All Ireland, the race for Sam McGuire, I suppose it's really a case of you know, there's not much point even playing it. Let's just like, you know, let's just go down to Parnell Park and present the cup to the Dublin lads now because it's theirs. You know, they've won two national leagues in a row, they've won two All-Irelands over the past three years, so basically nobody's any chance. There's no doubt about it. Dublin are the benchmark at the minute. They're a fantastic side. They've got a lot of quality right through the side and they've got a lot of strength in that. And, and maybe that's their biggest strength is, is the bench that they have and, and the, the quality of players that they can call upon at any time. But, you know, you have to look at the batting here and while they are evens, Mayo were six to one to win the All Ireland. Mayo weren't too far away from winning it last year against the same bunch of Dublin players. They'll certainly believe in themselves if they come up against Dublin once again. Cork coming through, run Dublin very close this year. You know, twenty minute period in, in, in the second half, absolutely a, a fantastic sublime, sublime football. There are nine points in front, but that's what Dublin can do to teams nowadays. They can give teams a lead. When you look back at the All Ireland semi final last year against Kerry, they, they allowed Kerry to have a lead, but they always believed in their own system and their own style, and it eventually got them back into the game. And for that 20 minute sp uh, spell against Cork this year, is probably the best period of football that we've seen over the last couple of years. And, and it was a fantastic, it was a joy to watch. Um, great attacking football and some fantastic scores. Dublin are head and shoulders above anyone else at the minute, but that doesn't mean that they've got a goal given right to win the All Ireland Championship. And as we all know, there's certain pressures come with playing championship football and there's certain pressures will come on top of the Dublin footballers at the minute. And we all know that there's a lot of media hype surrounds Dublin when it comes to championship as well. And, and will these players be able to, to cope with the demands of, of going for two in a row? And, you know, it's not too often nowadays that two in a row has been achieved. And, you know, I do feel that they will um, come up against a couple of tough sides en route to possibly achieve an All-Ireland success again, but they are, you know, my firm favourites for the All-Ireland at this stage. Now, whenever you take a look at those odds, too, basically, uh, you know, you're 6-1 to one Mayo and Cork, and then, you know, you drift to 12-1 to one Kerry, 14 to Roan, uh, Donegal 20s, and, and Derry 25. You know, because yeah. of the, the, the bookies are really making it a one-horse race, you know. Like, it's, all, it's, almost, it's almost set up for failure. Yeah, exactly, and and that's where Dublin have failed in the past. You know, for the last fifteen years, we we've been hearing about Dublin um, being potential All Ireland winners, albeit they haven't had the same quality in them teams and what they have in, in in the current team. But you know, on a number of occasions, they have failed to deliver in the big championship day, and that's not saying that these boys won't do that again this year. Um, there's certainly a, a, every reason that it can happen again. Current form, though, suggests that you know they are the current All Ireland champions. They've won the last two national league titles. They've won the last three major titles that they've entered, and you know you have to fancy their chances. They are the best team in the country at the minute. If they play to their potential, there's no team can stop them. But that is only if they play to their potential. If other teams do their homework on them and try to nullify the threat of Stephen Cluxon's kickouts, like Mayo done in the national league this year, they surrounded the kickouts. He wasn't given the space and the freedom to put him to the wings and therefore Mayo had an opportunity in that match. I think Mayo could be the team that could possibly overturn Dublin in the championship this year. They've been knocking on the door for the last couple of years. They're a decent side, a good attacking side, plenty of players that can get scores on the board and you know they won't fear Dublin one bit and they have had the upper hand Dublin in a number of championship matches over the past 10 years. Um, 
you know, and they will say to themselves that last year they weren't too far away from winning the All Ireland. I can just drive on a wee bit more. It might be the hurt that they'll need. Stevie, thank you very much for joining us here, McLean. But before I go, I can't let you go uh, because you love all sport. So uh, give me your World Cup winner. <laughs> my, my World Cup winner. Um, I, I agree with what Jerry said. Um, you have to, I suppose, sway with the, the South African side or South American sides. But um, certainly, I think Belgium will have um, a strong say in the World Cup this year. Some fantastic players um, throughout their squad, and um, you know, I think they'll push a lot of big teams very close. Hard to know what England will do. Uh, I don't think they're as bad as what a number of people were suggesting earlier on. I think they'll they'll get to the quarterfinals at least. But my tip for the World Cup this year have to be Argentina. Um, Lionel Messi, Aguero, fantastic players up front, um, and I just think it'll take some beating. How would Messi do in Celtic Park? How would Messi do in Celtic Park? <laughs> you, you, you would have to catch him first of all, of course. But I suppose the one good thing that I like about Messi is that he, he doesn't he doesn't feel injuries. You know, he, he gets he gets himself back on under his feet, two feet as quick as possible, and that can't be said about a, a number of players, in particular South American players. And I'm a huge um, Liverpool fan myself, and Suarez is probably the biggest culprit in world football at the minute. And you know, something that I'd like to see done away with. I think maybe sending these players off that do hit the that easily um, should be a way around it. Davey, thank you very much. Always a pleasure.